jet of water of diameter 60 mm moving with a velocity of 25 meter per second strikes a fixed plate in such a way that the angle between the jet and the plate is 55 degrees. Find the force exerted by the jet on the plate. And first question in the direction normal to the plane and second question in the direction of the jet. So first of all let us uh, draw the diagram of a uh, given question. So we are given jet of water. So first of all there is an origin. So here jet of water come out of this origin. And this jet of water strikes a fixed plate. So this jet of water strikes a fixed plate. This is fixed plate. This fixed plate inclined at an angle. So inclined at an angle uh, 55 degrees. So here given that angle between jet and the plate is uh, 55 degrees. Angle between jet and the plate is how much? 55 degrees. Angle between jet and plate is 55 degrees. That is theta is equal to 55 degrees. So here diameter of the jet. So here diameter of the jet D is equal to given 60 mm. <coughs> and this jet moving with the velocity V is equal to 25 meter per second. 25 meter per second. Okay. So, jet of water of diameter 60 mm moving with a velocity 25 meter per second strikes a fixed plate in such a way that angle between fixed plate and the jet is 55 degrees. Find the force exerted by the jet on the plane in the direction normal to the plane and in the direction of the jet. So, we have to find the force exerted by the jet on the plane normal to the plate in the direction normal normal means perpendicular direction so normal to the plate so we have to find fn so here fn means force exerted by the jet in the direction normal to the plate so normal means perpendicular direction next in the direction of jet so it means x direction yeah okay. so in this question we have to find force exerted by the jet normal to, normal to the plane in the direction normal to the plane means perpendicular direction as well as we have to find force exerted by this jet in the direction of jet in the direction means x direction so x and y so in the direction means in the direction of jet means x direction fx so we need fx and fn here unknowns are first we have to find fn and second one we have to find fx so here FN, FN, FN means force exerted in the direction normal to the plane. Normal to the plane. And what about Fx? Fx means in the direction of jet. In the direction of jet. In the direction of jet. So x direction. Okay. So we need Fn and Fx. First of all, let us list out given data. So here given data is given data. So given data is diameter of jet denoted by small d is equal to 60 mm. And we also given velocity of jet. Velocity of jet how much? 25 meter per second. And the angle between angle between the jet and the fixed plate is 55 degrees. So theta is equal to 55 degrees. So let us convert millimeters into meters. So 1 millimeter is equal to how much? 10 to the power of minus 3 meters. So 60 into 10 to the power of minus 3 means 0 0.06 meters. This is the diameter of a jet in meters. Now first of all, what is the formula for the FN? So here FN means force exerted by the jet on the plate in the direction normal to the plate. So FN formula. What is the formula for FN? So Fn is equal to rho a v square sin theta. Fn is equal to rho a v square sin theta. And what about Fx? This is question number 1. And question number 2, we have to find the force exerted by the jet 
on the plane in the direction of it. So fx is equal to rho a v square sin square theta. Rho a v square sin square theta. So we can write fx in terms of fn. Yes. So fx is equal to it can be written as rho a v square sin square theta can be written as sin theta into sin theta. Okay. Now. So rho a v square sin theta means what? Rho a v square sin theta means fn. So replace uh, this expression by fn. So fx is equal to what? Fn sin theta. Fx is equal to fn sin theta. So first of all let us find fn. Then we can substitute uh, fn value in this formula. Then we can find fx. So how do you get fn? So what are the things here? Rho, rho a v theta. See. What is in my rho? Rho means density of water. Density of water how much? Under standard conditions, 1000 kg per meter cube. Density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube. And what about A? Cross sectional area of jet. A means cross sectional area of jet. So area of jet is circular cross section. So A is equal to pi by 4 into d square. Area of circle, pi by 4 into d square. Okay. So is equal to pi by 4 into D for diameter. So what is the diameter of jet? Even already 0 0.06 meters. So 0.06 meters per square. Now A is equal to area of jet is equal to. If you calculate, you will get around 0 0.00283 meters. Area of jet is 0 0.00283 meters. Approximately. Now next. The last is already given. V is equal to 25 meter per second. Theta value 55 degrees. Now substitute all values. Fn is equal to rho value 1000 into area 0 0.00283 meter square into V square 25 square into sin theta. Theta value how much? 55 degrees. Now Fn is equal to so 1000 into 0 0.00283 means 2.83. Into 25 square means 625 into sine 55 degrees. So if you calculate sine 55 degrees, you will get uh, there I got around 0 0.81915. 0 0.81915. Now multiply all these values. You will get uh, 1 double 4 8.88 newtons. 1 double 4 8.88 newtons. This is a normal force. This, here Fn means force exerted by the jet on the plate in the direction normal. Okay. Next, Fx. So now, you know, now we have uh, Fn, force exerted in the direction normal to the plate. Now, to find Fx, replace Fn, Fn by 1 double 4 point into sin theta means sin theta. 55 1 double 4 8 point double 8 into sin 55 degrees value 0 0.8191. Now fx is equal to no? if you multiply you will get fx. So here I got the value around 1186.85. 1186.85 So therefore uh, Force exerted by the jet on the plate in the direction normal to the plate is 1 double 4 8 point 8 8 newtons and force exerted in the direction of the jet is 1186.85 newtons.